Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hello and welcome to the May 8th edition of Basis Loaded with Joe Schmidt. I am Joe Schmidt. This episode, as always, is produced by Paige Driscoll. It is a glorious spring day here in the upper Midwest. We're talking 80 degrees and full sun. What better way to celebrate than the latest from the NDPSR report? Let's start with butter. This butter number coming in 298.77. That represents a plus one to the CME one week average of 297.50. Plus one is a little bit under our expected basis. And here as the NDPSR approaches that $3 level, we're seeing that basis contract a bit. Could have something to do with the $3 level, could also have something to do with the 43 loads that we traded at the CME last week. 43 loads at essentially 301 minus the freight. Probably went a long way to pull that basis down. With that 43 loads at the CME last week, we were able to achieve our normal volume here on the NDPSR, coming in a little bit over 3.6 and about 139,000 pounds over our expected NDPSR volume. In the cheese complex, we'll start with the blocks, 165.61. That's a plus four to the CME one-week average of 161.55. Now, the CME to achieve that level was up six and a half week to week. Here on the NDPSR, we're able to muster a seven and a half cent gain. So a really nice price on this week's NDPSR. The manufacturer was able to call a higher than expected price. However, Volume suffered at that level, falling short of even the 10 million pound mark. So call it 2 million under our expected volume in the block. However, the manufacturer was able to call a nice price. Maybe that volume is off a little bit because we only traded two loads at the CME last week. So light volume amid a CME market that is rapidly moving higher. But here in the NDPSR, able to keep up and actually even gain a little bit more than what we saw at the CME. In the barrels, 172.47. That represents a plus three and a half to the CME two week of 169.15. We traded nine loads at the CME last week. So not a whole lot of volume there. It's interesting, the CME was up 10 here on the NDPSR also up 10. So the barrel keeping pace, if you're using the two week average with the gains that we're seeing at the CME, three and a half is still at the low end of our expected four to six cent positive basis. So the manufacturer had to discount a little, but you would expect that, you know, we would lag as the market's rapidly rising higher at the CME. But at that three and a half over, the manufacturer was able to move north of 13 million pounds. So respectable volume at that level and here you know off of our lows and moving towards a new neighborhood the manufacturer is still able to move good weight in the barrel certainly impressive as it keeps up with the gains that we're seeing at the cme and then in the way 4117 that's a plus three to the cme one week average of 38 we traded 11 loads at the CME last week, so not a whole lot of weight to talk about there. To achieve that 38 level, the CME was up two cents off of its low, and here gaining, well, just a little bit under half a cent on the NDPSR. So it looks like the way is gonna maintain this two to three cent positive basis and maintain prices in the low 40s, even though the CME dipped down to one week as low as 36 cents. Here the NDPSR holding a little bit of a premium, trading just north of 41 cents. If you go back to the April 20th number of 42.75, the manufacturer had to discount a little bit to move weight, but they were successful in doing so. Almost 6.3 million pounds at that penny and a half discount under prior week's NDPSR. So they're keeping the weight moving in the way even though we're in a new price neighborhood and i would expect that we nestle in here at this 41 cent level in the weeks to come and then lastly non-fat 113.41 that's an increase week to week on the ndpsr 
We don't have the big bulk sales that we had last week, you know, last week north of 33 million pounds. This week, right at our average, just a little bit north of 20 million pounds, and able to maintain a one cent premium over the CME one week average of 112.50. We traded 12 loads on the CME last week, so not huge volume there, but definitely respectable. One cent is below our expected two cent positive basis. And again, it looks like the powders are nestling in at this new neighborhood. So this is week one of five for the May pricing cycle. Currently getting May class three all the way up at 1852 with May class four at 2050. We'll see what they have in store for us in the weeks to come. Until then, on behalf of Paige and the entire Everag Insights team, I'm Joe. Have a nice week. Bye.